What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You got Brody here today for a solo video. Kelsey is gone. We will be doing some maybe zoom in videos. I also have plans of going out to Vegas in the next week or two. So we'll be doing videos out there. But solo video today because PSA just came back. One of my favorite videos to do here on the channel. One of your guys' favorite videos as well. It's one of our most popular videos here. So thank you guys for watching that. We're going to go through all of these. And just a quick reminder, I will be going live tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern on Whatnot doing a bunch of uh, singles, football, basketball. Uh, there might be some disc golf in there. There could be some uh, One Piece, uh, maybe some Dark Horse Pokemon. You never know. UFC. There's going to be all sorts of stuff. We call the show Dark Horse Steals and Deals. You get $15 for free if you use our link down below to sign up on Whatnot. Come check it out. Hang out. It'll be a good time. But with that, let's jump into today's video and see what we have here. I actually don't even know how many. I've sent in so many. Um, let me adjust this too, actually. There we go. I've sent in so many of these. I'm, I'm getting real crazy. Sorry. There we go. Let's we'll do that. We we'll always have a nice black wall in the background. Uh, I don't even know what to expect in this one. It's going to have... How many did we send in? Um, it was $402. 21 items. So we did the $16.99 April Modern Sports Special. For four hundred two dollars and sixty six, um, four hundred two dollars and fifty six dollars was our total expense on this, and uh, let's see what we ended up getting. I think there are some pretty solid cars in here, and I will do my best to not reveal any of them at the beginning here. Oh, that's that's thick. Those aren't coming out. There they go. Just need a little bit of wedging. Okay. There were the um, things are on the top. I don't know the order at all, so we're just gonna let it rip. And the first one is going to be this card is nasty. Uh, I pulled this out of a blaster actually. This is numbered to what is this number do? Twenty five. Zhang Wei Li number to twenty five, and that is a Gem Mint ten baby. Zhang Wei Li, Jim Mint 10 on the auto out of 25. Love that. This was a sick card. All right, we have a gold. I think this is my uh, Forrest, uh, Griffin, um, Forrest Griffin gold auto here. Forrest Griffin gold auto. This is out of 10. And that is a Jim Mint 10 as well. Oh, man. I forgot how fun these videos are. They truly are so much fun. Uh, let me move this light just a little bit here so you guys can get a little more shine on these things. There we go. Jim Mint 10, Forrest Griffin on the gold. And that's the first, oh, I forgot, that's the first off the print line. That's one out of 10 right there. Heck yeah. All right, next one is Anthony Richardson. That is on the red plaid. Rookies and Stars. One of our favorite products, Rookies and Stars. Also, let me know too. We got a new camera, a little zoomed in, a little nicer quality. Uh, let us know. Still not a new desk, but new camera. And that is going to be a Jim Mint 10. Kelsey's killing it so far. Kelsey is the one that looks over all these cards and sees, you know, whether or not it's worth sending in. She probably... If I give her like 50 cards of where I'm like, hey, these are cards that I want to grade, she'll probably turn down 15, 20. Like she does turn down a whole lot of cards. All right, next one is Puka. This is from Leaf. I don't remember what this was numbered to, but this is a sick Puka card on the purple. It does kind of look like a color match with just like the way their coloring is on the illumination. And that's going to be a mint nine. All right. Mint nine on the Puka. That is numbered out of 25. 24 out of 25. Our first nine. Hey, as long as we don't get an eight. Last time we did this, we had two eights. Two or three eights. And it was really, uh, really sad. 
So as long as we don't get an eight, I'll be fine. I need to actually put something on these or I will be looking. So there we go. That'll be covering it. And let me just, I'll just do this. Well, let's do this one and then I'll hand to that. All right, this is actually our redemption. So this took, we pulled this out of a Phoenix Hobby Box uh, as a redemption. It probably took two months, maybe three months. It took maybe 90 days to get this. And there it is, straight from the factory to us, Jim Mint 10. That's one of those guys, if you get a redemption and it's coming literally straight from them and they don't send you a 10, that's tough. So very happy to get this. Devon A-Chain, he's going to be an absolute monster. That's an auto out of 20 for him. So we will take that. I was going to say, let me get this plastic out. So it looks a little nicer in the back there. All right. Of course, I don't have a trash can nearby, but just chuck that. All right. Next one is going to be, I don't want to peek either. This is Brock Purdy. Now, I wish this was a prison black silver. Oh my gosh, dude, I wish it was a prison black silver. But uh, we just have a prison black here. Prison black, Brock Purdy, and that is a 10. That's a big card. That is a big card right there. That is going to be prison black, Brock Purdy at a 10. Love that. And I'm going to check the, I'll, I'll check the comps too. So as we're going, obviously, the, the comps of these cars will be popping up. And uh, we'll see kind of how we did. Just know that each one of these cost about $17 to grade, right? And so we can do, I'll, I'll try to do my best to do a little calculations of how much the card is raw, how much we paid for it in comps, and then what it looks like there to see like, all right, if the cards are raw, $100, we paid $17 to grade it. And then, you know, let's say it's a PSA 8 and it's only an $80, we take a loss there, right? All right, next Brock Purdy. This is where we get a bunch of Brock Purdies in a row. This is photogenic and this is actually pink. So this is a sick card and it's a parallel as well. And that's a 10. Yes. Yes. That is a 10 as well. Brock Purdy on the photogenic pink. Love to see it. I'll push these here so we can kind of see how uh, how we're doing here. There we go. Our nines and our tens. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Next one. I'm not doing a great job of actually blocking these for myself. There we go. Next one is uh, just the basic Don Russ. So I bought this. Actually, they were doing... On Amazon, I want to say, they were selling the uh, factory sets of this for super cheap. You get literally every card, every base card, every rookie, you get every single card. And I want to say it was anywhere from like $35 to like $40. Very, very cheap. So I bought like two or three of those simply for this one card and simply for that. Hopefully I'm right on the uh, comps. Hopefully the comps haven't changed that much in the last like three months. But I'm pretty sure one Jim Mint 10 actually will end up paying for two of the boxes. So completely worth it to get two of those boxes and to try to get one Jim Mint 10 rated rookie Brock Purdy. Let me boost this up. We'll do this. We'll keep this here. And then we'll slide this one in. There we go. All right, here we go. There we go. Um, this is going to be a huge card potential. Chet Holmgren, uh, Prism Rookie Silver. Chet, Prism Rookie Silver. Uh, you might have watched this video. I pulled this out of one of those weird MJ Holdings mystery tens that really is actually a terrible value. You probably are much better off just buying each of the blasters yourself instead of just getting one pack. But, you know, it's hard to find those sometimes. So, here we go. Dang it! Okay, this was the first one. Uh, the Puka 9, I'm okay with. This was the first one that I really am sad that we didn't 10. It's so hard to get a silver rookie prism 10. I don't know if we have one. Oh, no, we have like a Jaden Reed, I think. There's a couple we have. But not the big names. And he's definitely one of the bigger names coming out of 2022. 
So, all right, that's unfortunate. We'll take, we'll take a nine to the stack. So we're at two nines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven tens. Two nines, seven tens. All right, next one coming up. All right, we have a base. Our first victor here. This is just a base. We have yet to pull a uh, silver Wimby. Um, I've pulled a lot of crazy Wimbies out of Select, but nothing really crazy out of Prism. And that is a nine as well. Dang. All right, 0 for 2 on our Prism basketball rookies here. Nine is still, like, nine is still doable. You probably didn't make any money sending it in. You probably didn't lose any money unless if I would have sold this raw, let's say like, you know, three months ago, this raw was going for $80 and now it's going for 50. You know, the time it took, that's where I actually lost the money, right? So um, we'll see what that looks like. All right, Shockwave out of Revolution. This is the Astro, I think. What is this? Oh no, this is just the base. Yeah, no no par parallel at all. A little shockwave revolution. And that's a 9-2. It is impossible for us to get Wimby 10s. Dang, that one looked good. I'm curious as to why that one. It, that, that could easily be like a centering thing. And it's like, bro, this card, I have no idea if it's centered or not. I mean... I don't have a lot of those Wimbies to like look at to see which ones are centered and which ones aren't. But we have another Wimby here, and this is a deep space insert, also out of Prism. Deep space insert Wimby, and that is going to be a nine as well. Oh, I'm afraid they might have, did they stack all the nines together and all the tens at the front? Because we have yet to see a 10. That, I think that's literally four nines in a row. Okay, let's break the streak here. Unfortunately, this is the Monopoly, Wimby. I'll still take a 10, don't get me wrong, but if I could trade out which 10 I would want, it definitely would be on the base, not the Monopoly one. And they're gonna give us a nine on this one as well. They are gonna give us a nine on this one as well. So we are not doing good. These, uh, these stacks, we do not want these stacks to get close together. And we have one extra 10 versus a nine. So this is another one. Okay, there we go. Let's start stacking the tens again. We got a 10. We need to keep stacking the tens. Let's keep the stack train going here. Another Monopoly Wimby. Another 10. There we go. Let's keep it stacking. Let's keep it stacking. Come on. Don't slow down here. Another Monopoly Wimby. 10. Come on. Let's keep it going. Oh my gosh, I forgot how many Monopoly Wimbies I pulled. We got another one right here. Okay, stop the train. We got a nine. That's fine though. That was a nice little run. That was a nice little run of tens there. All right, now we're moving on into Caitlin Clark territory. I've got a couple Caitlin Clark cards. So send them in. Really just want one 10. Obviously, I'll take all of them as 10. But if one of them are tens, I am happy with that. So there it is. Caitlin Clark out of the Bowman U, U Chrome 10. She's actually playing pretty solid with the uh, the lack of team, I guess you could say, around her. People are saying that the WNBA needs to start like fixing games, essentially. Like make her play against easy teams. Because uh, she is like the biggest, most popular player you have. So it'll be interesting to see if any of that actually happens. All right, this one's a nine. You know, I kind of figured again, like I sent both these in and I was just really hoping for 110. So 110 and 19 there. It is what it is. Sage might be kind of disappointed in these. Kelsey probably is going to be disappointed, but I'm okay. All right, now we are going into some disc golf. So these are the first ever disc golf cards. If you guys aren't, if you're watching this channel and you maybe haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. Welcome. I am a professional disc golfer. So we, uh, we rip a lot of disc golf when we can. Uh, products are super hard to get. Pretty much, there's almost, almost no sealed wax left of disc golf. They're creating 2024 right now. So we will be doing some rips here on YouTube and obviously on our whatnot. But here is two of the goats. 
Ken Climo, Elaine King, out of five, royalty. And yikes. They did not like this card one bit. I mean, you can look and see the centering is really bad. <laughs> I mean, if you see this corner, how thick that is and how thick that is compared to that and that. Like, it's not. But at the end of the day, sometimes you send in stuff to PSA to get slabbed up and to try to, you know, sell it and, and make a little bit more money that way. And other times you get stuff slabbed up to protect the cards and just have it look a little bit nicer in presentation. And that's what we did here. So I'm okay either way. It wasn't that big of a deal. Um, obviously a 10 would be nice, but this is not a car that I'm really looking to sell. This is definitely going to in the PC, something that I will keep uh, for a very long time and probably pass along. And we are on the last one, another uh, sick card here with actually Scott Stokely in Ken Climo this time. Any Ken Climo autos you take. And the final card. Thank you guys so much for making it this far. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what the best PSA card you have. Yeah, they don't like disc golf cards. Okay, that's an eight. <laughs> um, they definitely do not like uh, these these cards, that's for sure. This one, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they thought like this was way off centered because like that emblem's over there, but that looks pretty centered to me. Maybe a little, maybe a little left, the Brixton, but not by much. Corners actually were pretty, I mean, the edges here are a little bit ding, but again, it's another one where I just was gonna, whether this card looked like it was going to be a perfect 10 or it was going to be a little banged up, I don't mind it. And uh, hey, two cards are going to come back eights. So those are both the disc golf cards, not ones I was looking to sell anyways. We ended up with eight nines, which I'm sure Kelsey's not going to be too happy with. And we have five, 10, 11 tens. So eight nines, 11 tens for this PSA review. Uh, we got another one coming in the mail, actually. So it should be probably within, maybe, I'll probably have it within a week. So we might actually have another PSA video soon. So if you like these, be on the lookout. Another one coming soon. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.